Welcome to the Lamborghini Villa here in Koh Samui, Thailand. The villa is situated up the north of the island, overlooking the whole of Koh Samui. This villa has six floors, a full-size pool table, two infinity pools, a bowling alley, a party room, massive open space, a private gym, a private cinema, and so much more. Without further ado, let's get right on into the video. Yes then guys, so we are currently at the top of the villa. We're on the sixth floor. As you can see behind me, we've got a beautiful seating area here and a beautiful view of Koh Samui, Thailand. And let me just show you this as well because also on this rooftop, we've got a jacuzzi. Now what's better than sitting on the top of a roof in your, in your jacuzzi, looking over Koh Samui? Probably not a lot. Let's go inside and I'll show you the first bedroom. So this is it then guys, one of the five bedrooms. Now in my opinion, it's not a bad bedroom. You pretty much, you, you've got everything you need. You've got a big TV in the corner there. You've got a massive double bed. You've got a little sofa here if you want to chill out little cook cabinet there for your clothes and whatnot air conditioned as well and obviously behind you what i've just shown you is the beautiful view as you wake up in the morning you've got a beautiful view here behind you now then let me take you down onto the fifth floor down on the fifth floor now then guys another massive open space and let me just show you around of what's actually in here the first thing that you're going to see behind me is a kitchen area now you count in the video how many times you see a kitchen area in this villa because in my opinion you don't need this many kitchens but it is what it is around from the kitchen now we've got a seating area a massive flat screen tv and behind here he's like a bed as such so i would guess this would class as a bedroom slash studio would you say um, another chair here if you want to look out and see the amazing view and one last thing about this floor is that it's got a terrace so let me take you out and show you but guys before i do that i need to show you what i forgot to record now this is the outside infinity pool which i didn't show in the video but as you can see it's absolutely beautiful you've got your own private jacuzzi there as well the pool overlooks the movie as well now remember this villa has two infinity pools even got its own his and her sink a toilet and a shower on the left there which you can't see in the photo but without further ado let's get straight on back into the video where we left off the terrace as you can see guys there's multiple seating options here outside at the lamborghini villa this is just one of many which i'll show you in this video as you can see there's another one here too and around the corner of this terrace guys there's another little seating area which i'll show you so you come down here down another little alleyway as such and finally, another seating area. I don't know how many people you plan on bringing to this villa if you do come to this villa, but there's enough seats for everybody. Now then guys, let me take you down to the fourth floor and this is the biggest floor of the villa and known as the main floor. As you can see, the stairs are very grand. We've got a beautiful chandelier here, a beautiful kind of wall architecture. And as you can see, as we go throughout this villa, you'll see a lot of elephants. I feel like elephant is the theme of this villa. If you're from Thailand or you've been to Thailand, you've probably seen the elephants. Elephants are very popular here in Thailand. So then guys, the fourth floor of the villa, this is the main floor. And once again, another beautiful seating area, another beautiful, big, big TV. And as you come around here, we've got a pool table here. Now this isn't a full size pool table, but there is a full size pool table. And I'll show you that later on in the video. Behind the pool table, we have one of the bedrooms, one of the other bedrooms, another big double bed, another nice seating area. And it just seems very clean. Everything in this villa seems very clean, very aesthetic. And also in every bedroom, there is an ensuite. Let me just quickly show you the ensuite. So the ensuite, we've got a jacuzzi. We've got a massive shower, walk-in shower, should I say. And this is the theme throughout the villa. All the ensuites have got jacuzzis. All the ensuites have got nice walk-in showers, making this villa very, very luxurious. So when you come out of that other bedroom, directly opposite, you've got another bedroom, which is literally identical. I won't take you in there because we've literally just seen the same thing and once again another kitchen area behind me if you want to stay here you've got a fridge you've got a cooker you've got everything that you need so you can't see it currently but behind the camera is the pool which is what i'm going to show you next let me show you my favorite part of this villa So as you've probably seen from the drone clips, guys, this is the main pool. This is where all the action is probably going to happen in the villa. If you're going to come here with your friends or whatever, this is what I'd say is like where everybody would congregate and kind of enjoy the best time experience whilst being at the villa. But it's not just the pool that is the highlight of this area. Let me show you the other parts of this floor. So as you come on down the pool then, guys, we've got a seating area here. Very comfy, very kind of nice and stylish. I can imagine me and my friends sitting here, maybe having a beer, maybe having a game of cards. And one other thing to note about this villa, guys, is at sunset, this is where the sun sets over here so over there in the distance we've got another little island and in the far far distance we've got Koh Panyan and this is where the full moon party happens if you're new to Thailand that is where the full, point, full moon party is going to be so opposite that seating area we've got the barbecue and another little kitchen area once again perfect if you enjoy a barbecue like me because this is probably going to be your most favorite feature on this floor 
And lastly, on this floor, we've got another seating area. Like I said earlier on in the video, there's so many seating options in this villa, you will never struggle to find a seat. So now then guys, we are on the third floor and this is where this villa gets very interesting. This is when you see things that you don't normally see in your average villa. The first thing you're gonna notice is this area I've just walked out to. This is a massive, massive outside terrace area. It's got so much on, so much space as well. Loads of bean bags, probably an unnecessary amount of bean bags if you ask me. But let me take you around this corner just so you can see how big this space actually is. Now, if we come back on ourselves, let me just show you what's up here behind this white sheeting. So believe it or not, there's a full size kitchenette here. This is like an industrial standard. When you go to a restaurant, when you go to these massive kind of places in your town center, this is probably the kitchen size that they will use. And bearing in mind, we're in a villa right now. We're just in someone's house, like it's ridiculous. We also have a pizza oven here as well, which is currently very hot. So I imagine it got used very recently. And if you're wondering like I did when I first got here as to what this will be used for, just imagine this is rented out for kind of big gatherings for big events. So if you're hiring a chef, if you're in hiring a catering team, they've got everything they need to work. Also on this floor, there is something that I like to call the hidden bedroom because this bedroom you cannot get access to other than from the terrace. Once again, like all the bedrooms at this villa, it's very spacious, very big, and it has its own ensuite again with, you know what, a jacuzzi and a walk-in shower inside. These ensuites are not like your average ensuite. And as you can see, there is LED lights above me, which you also don't get where I'm from. As you come through from the main terrace area, this is the stairway area. This is where you kind of go off in different direction. This is what takes you to different rooms on the third floor. And around this corner, I'm gonna quickly show you the other bedroom because this is the bedroom that you can get access to from inside the villa unlike the other bedroom that I just showed you. As you can see, most of the bedrooms are pretty much identical and it's very simple, very plain, but you can't really complain. Now we're gonna take you into the cinema room. This is probably the best room if you enjoy Netflix, you enjoy binge watching TV because you'll probably never leave this room if you come to the villa. If you're like me and above six foot, you're gonna have to duck when you come through this door because the average height of a Thai person is definitely not the same as if you're from the UK. So this is the cinema room, guys. This is the Lamborghini cinema room, if you like to call it, at the Lamborghini Villa. I, I, I fall in love with this room every time I come in here. All you have to do is sit down on one of these seats. You've got a massive, I reckon it's like a 120 inch TV screen. And every single chair, as you can see, reclines. So even if you want to come in here for a nap, even if you just want to chill out for a bit and you're with your friends, what is there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seats. So you could have ten of you here just chilling, watching TV. Right then, that is enough of relaxing. I'm about to fall asleep, but I've got to carry on with this video. So let me take you into the gym area. Another interesting thing to mention as you're walking through the hallway and walking through the staircase of this villa is these stone walls, which have been hand kind of caved. These are real stone guys. This is not fake. This is not just put in here for the villa. This was already here and they've kind of sculpted the stones in a way to shape the staircase, which I think is absolutely amazing and so clever. And it's things like this, guys, that make the villa very, very unique. It makes it stand out because this is not what you'll see in every average villa. So I keep saying everything is my favorite part of this villa because there are a lot of things that I do like in this villa. But if you know me, you know I like the gym, you know I like my fitness, you know I like boxing especially. So something like this is absolutely amazing. Your own private gym overlooking Samui. You've got brilliant like kind of fresh air coming in. You can have the TV on if you want. I'm pretty sure there's a speaker somewhere in here as well. And also this gym has a private ensuite. Once again, very nice, nothing too much, nothing over fancy, just very nice stone walls, stone floor. And yeah, I just like the idea of having something like this in a gym because if you do go to the gym, and you kind of know the stress of when you're in mid set or you're in a workout, you've got to take two minutes to walk to the toilet. Yes, it's a little inconvenience, but having something like this is perfect. So we are now on the second floor of the Lamborghini Villa, guys. And believe it or not, this is one of the entrances that you can enter. Behind the camera, there's a massive garage, which is the way I entered, but there's other different entrances that you can get in throughout the villa. Let me show you this floor. The first thing you'll notice is a massive Lamborghini sign here on the floor. As you can see, the owner of the villa does love Lamborghinis. He loves his supercars. So I think that's why he called it the Lamborghini Villa. Now, if you're into cars, you're probably gonna know what this is. It's a Ranger, Ford Ranger. Yeah, Ford Ranger, clearly been modified massively. If you think I'm six foot two and this car, the, 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 the wing mirror of the car is just coming to my head. So if you're in a normal car to put this into kind of perspective, the wing mirror is normally here. These wheels are absolutely massive. And Mario, if you're watching this, I'm gonna try and get a drive in this before I go. 
Now, believe it or not, on this floor is a bowling alley. And let me show you inside. When I first seen this, I was gobsmacked. He told me about this bowling alley before I actually got here. But when you come here and see it, it's ridiculous. How can you have a bowling alley in a villa? And this villa, guys, like I keep saying, is more so for entertainment purposes. It's more so to have guests if you want to hold events, if you want to hold parties, if you want to kind of rent things out. It's not really a villa that you'd stay in. Don't get me wrong, people do stay here, but it's mainly for entertainment purposes. So as you make your way down through the bowling alley, there's loads of other little games. I used to love these games when I was a kid. I used to play them all the time at my mom's house. And yeah, it's like kind of a bit of nostalgia. Next up, we've got a little football table here. And down here, we've got another pool table. I think I've counted two so far and I haven't even shown you the main one yet. Oh, and if you want to practice some basketball, there's also little basketball hoops, which I'll probably have to ask him where the basketballs are, but I imagine they're not so far. Now to get access to the first floor guys, you need to walk in the corner of the bowling alley and it will take you downstairs into this kind of dungeon area. Now these seats I thought were so classed, it was so like olden and it was like very nice to see. So just through from that room then guys, we have a ping pong table and as you can see where that white door is, is the games room and that is where we're going to go to next. So as you can see, we are now in the party room. It honestly feels like, it actually feels like a nightclub, I can't lie. If you had like, if you had the lasers on, which they do have here, but they don't have them on, then this would seem like a nightclub. Nice velvet chairs, a nice little bar table. We've even got a DJ decks here as well. If you're a DJ and you want to come here, then this is probably going to be perfect for you. You can host a little party for your friends. And yeah, this has pretty much got everything that you need if you want to come here and have a party at the Lamborghini Villa. And last but not least, guys, we've got the full-size snooker table room. Now, I've never actually seen one of these before I come to this villa. And to put it into perspective, like, I reckon a normal size pool table or like one where if you go to the pub with your friends and stuff, it's probably like this, this big maybe. So it's probably double, double that size in width and in length as well. I do really want a game on this. So I'll have to ask anyone around if they want to play me. But another thing to note about this room, guys, is what the owner told me is that all the wooden, all the kind of carpentry around this room has been handmade. It's all been handcrafted individually. And he said it took them absolutely ages. This is a very wooden aesthetic room, which absolutely fits the whole theme of the pool table because as you can see, the pool table is made of real wood too. So there we have it guys. That is a full villa tour of the Lamborghini Villa here in Koh Samui, Thailand. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you want inquiries about booking this villa maybe, maybe you're coming to Thailand and you want to book out a room, you want to book out the bowling alley, you want to do some things with your friends here, let me know in the comments. I'll leave all the details of this villa below in the description. Thank you for watching once again guys and I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.